hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to sew this beautiful shirt in our previous video i showed you how to cut it and in today's video i'll be showing you how to go about the sewing the shirt has many parts take a look at the band you noticed that, that it has a belt loop and it also has a, a belt so now I have gone ahead from our previous video we have drafted this and then so I went ahead and placed it on my fabric this is the front part so here's the front part as you can see I added half inch all around I added half inch at the upper part also I added half inch and then I folded this this is two inches which represents my band this is two inches so I folded it in because I'll be cutting my band separately and then join to this now I did the same thing for the back you can see I folded it as well I folded in two inches as well because I'll be you know cutting my band separately I have two inches there so I have to fold it in in order for me to cut my band separately that's it and then i have this here as well this will serve as my band this is my band i folded in two inches so that means that i'm going to cut two and a half inches as my band unfold so the other half is going to be my joining allowance and then i, I did i went ahead and marked this here i have okay look at this is my band two and a half inches can we see two and a half inches So for the band, I have two and a half inches, as you can see, we folded in two inches and then I have two and a half inches. The half uh, represents my joining allowance. And so I went ahead to do this, you, you know, I'll be using one and a half as my, as, I'll just mark out one and a half this way, right? And then I'll mark another half inch this way. So this half inch is going to serve as my casing where I'll put my rubber. And then this other part will be my joining allowance. So at the end of the day, I have two and a half inch. I'll be using this rubber, this elastic band, and then I'll be placing it on the five inches, uh, sorry, on the half inches casing I left for it. So can we see? So that means we're going to have one and a half inches for the upper part of the shirt. So one and a half inches is going to be the upper part of the shirt where we'll have those coily effects, you know, after we are done. And then this half inch, I'm putting my rubber, my elastic band, and then the other half will serve as my joining allowance to the main uh, shirt. So here I have, um, this is the belt, this is the belt, this is also on fold. You can see I also did this on fold, on fold, and then I have, um, I have one and a half, okay, I have one and seven inches, 1.7 inches or one and one three quarter inches. So I'm going to be joining with quarter. So at the end of the day, I have one and a half. And then at this edge here, I'm going to shape it out. I will not leave it this way. I won't leave it this way. I'll just shape it. I'll just shape it like so. I'll just shape it like, you know, just do something. Just something like this and then I'll just cut it off so I'm cutting the both side at the same time so I'm going to have something like this can you see so by the time I open it up by the time I open it up I have a really long belt can you see I have a really long belt by the time I open it up so this is the other edge of it so I'm going to be using this as my belt loop I'm going to be using this as my belt loop and then uh, let me measure it i think i have one and a half and uh, two and a half inches so you can use one and a half one and a half inches two and a half long that so this one and a half is going to be the width while two and a half is going to be the length and so i'll just go ahead and fold it this way fold it this way fold it on both ends and close it up and then i'll run a stitch line on this just to close it up around the stitch line so i'm going to do five of this because i'll be putting one at the back at the center back and then i'll put two beside this and in front i'll also put two 
in front to make him five at the end of the day and so those are the, what we're going to be working with you can see it has many parts it really has many parts so i'll go ahead and join this i'll go ahead and join this i'll just sew this way i'll sew it and then i'll turn it and bring it out you understand i'll just turn it this way so on the wrong side you know this way and then by the time i sew i'll just bring it out you know and then i impress it i'll do the, so this also i'm going to you know keep i'll do a continuous line because i want it straight so i'll keep measuring i don't know if you are getting what i'm saying so i keep measuring this way i leave my half inch rubber casing i do this way again i measure one and half I measure half as my rubber casing I leave the remaining and then I can join it with my ruler by the time I'm done marking all through I can join it with my ruler and then I'll run a stitch line on that line this line now that is so visible I'll run a stitch line this way I'll run it down to the end I'll run the other one as well I'll run it down to the end and then this will serve as my rubber casing and then for the belt loop I'm going to place the belt loop this way after folding it this way and joining it, I'm going to be attaching it. I'll bend it this way. Can you see? Raise it up a little. Let's see what I'm doing. So I'll just bend it a little. I'll top stitch. I'll top stitch it. I top stitch or I do it this way. I sew it this way and then I cover up my stitch. And then I do something like this. So I run the stitch. You understand that? So this place will then it will be part of my joining. So by the time I join it to the shirt, it will stay on the you know to stay properly. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go and I'm going to join it right now. And then for the main shirt, I'll just remove my pattern. I'll remove my pattern, removing the pins. I'll set the pattern aside. Let's set the pattern aside. So this is the back. Do the same thing. Remove the pins. Remove the pins. And I'll set the pattern aside. So I'm going to take it to the sewing machine right now. This is the front. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be joining the side. So I've joined it, as you can see, I've joined the crotch line. Joined it for the side. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'll open it up and join the sides as well. Open it up this way. right side facing the right side and then I'll take it to the same machine and I'm going to run another stitch line this way I run it here and I'll also run this see. also I would fold in this part I'll fold it in you know and then run my stitch line I'll do the same thing I'll fold it in so as in I'll be joining this place in here and then the sides and then I'll do the same thing here I'll make sure this is can see this is the crotch part so I'll make sure this place you know tallies with here I can hold it with my pin so that when I'm sewing it does not shift does not shift from the points so for the belt I want to turn it so I'll just I can use something like this or any rod that is not too big and then I keep pushing it you see once I get to the opening I left and I left and open okay here is the opening so I'll bring it out I'll bring it out from the opening and then I'll do the same thing I'll do the same thing at this part as well. Can you see? Do it this way. And then take it in. Can you see? So 
my finger like this and that's it so i'll go and i'll close up this the space i left for the tummy and then i'll iron press it and so for this one i've gone ahead to stitch you can see i've stitched from here to here is 1.5 I, I also stitched on this to form a casing for my rubber i'm using this this elastic so this has formed a casing for my elastic and then I'm gonna add to stitch it to the end of the band. To get the length of this, we are going to after stitching this, we are going to check. We are going to check the waist. Okay, guys. So I joined all the the hem as the side. I just use half inch, half inch, and then I finished off the bottom part. And so I've also ironed this out. This is the belt, and then this is the belt loop. And so for the band, here's the band. Remember to put your interface. Can you see it has my interface? Remember to put your interface, and then you take the waist length. So here I have a 21. I have 21. So at the end of the day. I folded in 42, so I have 42 here on fold, and I've uh, closed it up. So where I closed it up, I have the joining here. So I'm going to be using the joining at the back. Okay, here is the joining. So I'll just do this way. I want the joining to be at the back, so I'm going to be joining it this way. Can you see? I can open up this stitch. Just open it up, and then hold it down with my pin and then I'll sew it around I hold it down with my pin so for the belt loop I'll show you what I'll do I'll just let me hold it down remember that I've already put my rubber casing before doing this Oops. guys I've pinned it round you can see it all around so now for the belt loop i would insert one like i said at the center back and start this so this is what i'm going to do i'll place it this way i'll run a stitch i run a stitch and then bring it down and join it to the band can you see so that's what i'm going to do so i'll put five i'll put one at the center here I'll put one at the side, at both sides, and at the so I'll have five in um, total. Five in number. So I have a total of five at the end of the day. So I'll do that and I'll show you. Okay, guys. So before you know, stitching the band. I thought I should show you this. So this is how you're going to do the belt loop. You're going to find the, like I said, one at the back. I have this at the back, at the center back, and then two at this side and two at this side. So once you do it this way, you sew it this way at first, can you see? And then you bring it this way and stitch it, like I did here. Can you see? So that's how you do the belt loop. So this is where we're going to be attaching to our band. Have it to the to our shorts to the waistline of our shorts so i'll just use i'll hold it down with pin now can you see so i'll do it the way that i'll sew everything together and then hold it with pin and then i'll take it to the sewing machine and i'll sew and then i'll leave a space where i'll be passing my elastic i'll be leaving a space so I believe you should, you should be able to do yours, although it's going to be a little difficult for a beginner. But if you watch this video very well, you would understand every step you need to take in achieving yours. So, so once I'm done, I will just turn so it round. So now I have it, and then I have my belt loop as well. So I'll just take it to the sewing machine now and then I'll do half inch round. That's this space where we're going to be inserting our rubber. 
So, like I said, I'm using this rubber. This rubber is about a um, quarter of an inch, a little above quarter of an inch, the rubber size. And so, I'll be working, I'm working with waist 30, so I'll just use um, 18, which should be fine. I can bring it to, I'll just bring it to 20. So depending on the kind of rubber you're using as well. So, and then I'll use this, I'll use my pin, safety pin to pass it. So through this opening now, can you see, I left this opening, I'm going to insert my rubber. So, you can see my belt loop has, the belt loop is in place and this is the casing for the rubber so I just insert it now. So, guys, I closed it up and then I'll just, then I'll go on. I'm going to sew this place now. You have to, you know, stretch it out. Once you stretch it out, then you can run the stitch to close up the space. So, guys, here's the finished work. These are trousers. These are shorts. the belt loop. Yes, and then can you start your belt? Okay, so. It. so make yours and if you like this video please click the like button. If you are yet to subscribe kindly Click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification so that anytime I upload a new video, you will be notified. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.